Hey everybody. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like um, at the end of the day um, and kind of in better quality. So I wore my bun um, all during the week. This is the second one that I did. Um, if you're trying to do this and you have super curly hair like me, I know that this seems like it should not be the case, but um, it is possible. Um, I did use a bristle brush on my hair today, but the first day I just used this comb. And like I said, when I was in the shower, this is very important um, because I did the ponytail while I was in the shower underneath the water when my hair is soaking wet because your hair is the heaviest and the straightest when it's weighed down by all that water. So I did the ponytail while it was soaking wet underneath the water and put it in this bun, which um, I think you guys can see it. Which I did actually take out um, this morning, and I redid it, and um, you know, put my um, scarf on, and that really helped to smooth down my hair. So this is the second day. I am going to take it out because it's Friday, but I wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like after taking it out of the bun for two days. So because it's the second day, my hair is not too dry, but you can see the hair that was in the bun is still a little bit curly, but it is very stretched out. and. It's pretty soft still, even though, um, even though I didn't put um, too much conditioner in it. Now I did put some conditioner in it, and the conditioner that I put in was the Got to Be Oilicious conditioner. I refreshed my hair with that last night, and then I put a little bit more. Eco Styler Gel. Now the reason I have to do that is because we did combatives and my hair, I was like rolling around on the mat so my hair got really frizzy so I had to refresh the style. But I wanted to show you guys how stretched my hair is from putting it in the ponytail straight after being in the shower. It's definitely not as curly as it is when I put conditioner all throughout my hair and my hair is saturated with conditioner. So I find that with my hair, conditioner definitely promotes curls. So if you're trying to stretch out your hair, then you might not want to use conditioner. So what I'm thinking of doing guys is I'm thinking about either curling my hair, doing bantu knots, or doing uh, flexi rods. So I'll come back on here and I'll show you guys what I did. And if I curl it, then I'll record that. All right guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey everybody. Okay, so what I decided to do was I'm going to curl my hair because that's what everybody wants to see. And I kind of want to see, you know, how my hair looks. Um, normally I would not do this because my hair is never stretched enough to where I would have to, um, normally I would have to use a blow dryer in order to stretch my curls out. So I don't use heat on my hair, but every six months. So this is the first time that I am breaking my rule because before today I've only flat ironed my hair every six months so or use any kind of heat on my hair every six months but since my hair is um pretty stretched from the the bun that it was in for work i decided why not
Okay guys, I'm going through like a serious dilemma. Okay, I can't decide whether I want to do these flexi rods or bantu knots. Like I just took out this bantu knot and it is amazing. So, and this is the flexi rod that I just took out and they've only been in for like maybe 10-15 minutes. Um, well this has been on for about 20. <sighs> and this just makes me want to do all bantu knots. So I think I'm going to do bigger sections for the bantus and I'm gonna just save the flexi rods for another day. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Peace.